Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video we're going to look at new mods released today for Farm and Simulator 19. First of all, a few updates. Placeable Factories Pack, the Lizard MKV3 Universal, the Fent 4S, the Cargo XK18 and the Lizard MKV2 Universal have all had updates today. There's a new map out today as well, Wither Farms by Missy B, which I'm hoping to do a map tour on later. And to go with that, Wither Farms Seasons Geo, also by Missy B. So first up we've got this. This is the WBM Diamant 2000 by White Wall Modding. This is 19 slots on console. Very nicely detailed. It's a wood chipper, but it's a wood chipper that you don't have to tow. This you'll find under vehicles, under forestry machines. It's quite pricey, 625,000 to buy. There's no options. Runs at 612 horsepower, 49 miles per hour, and it's got a 2,000 litre capacity. So let's have a look inside. In cab. Nice detail. In fact, if we start it up, that screen comes on up there. Horn. Anything come up when you put the lights on? Nope. Lots of lights there, so you've got plenty of visibility if you're out in the forest and it's starting to get dark. Indicators. Beacons, front and back. Very nice, so what does this do? We've got up the top where you normally select your tool where the little tractor is. You've got three different stages. So we're on crane one, and then you've got pipe, which is number two, and the support arm, which is number three. First of all, if we do L1 and X, unfold wood crusher, that raises the cab. puts the support feet down in the front unfolds the little conveyor belt and the crane so staying on that option we can also do pipe out now if we stay on that option as well L1 right stick left to right moves the crane left and right right stick up and down does the boom in and out right stick staying on that option uh, sorry right R1 and right stick goes up and down L1 R1 spins the claw left and right that's the right stick right stick up and down opens and closes the claw. Now if we press triangle to change to number two, if we press L1 right stick left and right we can move the pipe left and right and we can also angle the nozzle at the front up and down by 
right stick up and down. R1 and L3 changes the steering mode so you can have crab steering left, crab steering right, all wheel steering. Don't think there's anything, no, nothing for the rail one R1. So then if we go to option three, which is the support arms, that does the little support arms actually there down the front. If we zoom in a little bit. Well, I don't know why you'd quite want to train change this unless you're on sort of uneven ground, I suppose. So L1, right stick, left and right moves that one up and down right stick up and down pushes that one in and out R1 nothing different there L1 R1 nothing different there you've got a couple of camera angles on this so you've got this out cab You've got in cab, so you can do that, and you've got the crane camera. So I am going to try and attempt because I'm not very good with the cranes at picking up some logs. That took far too longer than I was expecting. <laughs> so I've cut to this so if we do L1 and square turn on wood crusher that gets the conveyor belt going so I'm going to drop my log there he says why isn't that not dropping So you notice that hasn't spat that out. I'm not going to do another log by the way because that took far too long. That is what the 2000 litre capacity is. So where do we actually see where the capacity is? Because we know there's some wood chips in there. I wonder if we fold this away. Pipe should stay out. Is it going to give us like it would with a trailer? No. There's nothing there saying how much I've got in there. Is there anything in cab? Not that I can see. Oh, that's a bit strange. I would have thought you'd have been able to tell how much you got in there. Anyway, if we do L1 and R1 and unload here, that spits out our wood chips. So, I honestly do hate using cranes. I do apologise for that rubbishness. That's that one. Next up we've got this, which is Sawmill by Diesel Hirsch. This is 25 slots on console. Seasons ready. ready. Basically, it's a place to sell your logs. You can't sell wood chips here though, it's only the timber. Nice bit of detail in there. You've got the sounds going on when you get near it. I don't think any of these doors open though. No. So, I've got some wood already ready here. 
be back up into our zone. Jump out. Got a cell trigger here, cell wood hopefully. There we go. Sold. This you will find under placeables under miscellaneous I think. There it is, 60,000 to buy. Did I say it was 25 slots? Yeah, I did. And seasons ready. Moving on from there, we've got the Amazon D1 by Kawa and Qwerty PL. This is four slots. It's a old style cedar on the little cogs there nice detail it says on the mod hub that it was originally built in 1949 in germany let's have a quick look at it in store this you'll find under cedars at the end there it's only 2750 to buy doesn't hold fertilizer, just seeds, and it just does sort of your basic crops wheat, barley, oak, canola, soybeans, cover crop, and grass. 2.1 meter wide, 6 mile per hour working width, and only a 250 litre capacity. 20 horsepower required to pull it. Pretty low for that, but then it's not very big. Uh, we come in, look up to it. So, if we do L1 and triangle, we can select our different crop. Open cover, opens your cover to fill your seeds up. Circle, lower it down, and off we go. Yeah, that is that one. I've just realised that I didn't show you any of the options in the store. So, we'll go back in there. A few options there. You can change the main colour. Um, it's got all sort of older, faded, sort of pastel -y type colours. Which you probably would expect for an old bit of kit. Change your rim colours to anything on there. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Come on. Now it's not going to let me get back up there, is it? Come out. Rim colour. Anything on there. Let's go again. Design colour. Changes the little bits down the bottom there. And in design, we can have it as number one, which is just plain standard. Two gives you the Amazon writing on the top. Three gives you some lights on the side there. And then four gives you everything, which is what I went for. And then back to one. So there you go there. Here, ready. Next, we've got the Lizard 3000 by Prozemster. I think that is. It's two slots on console. Holds lime and fertilizer. You can change the capacity by putting the extra balls on the top there. Not a great bit of detail, but still a nice looking mod. This you'll find under tools, under fertilizer technology. 
There it is there, 4,500 to buy. 60 horsepower to pull. 4,500 litre capacity to start with. You can increase that, which we'll look at. 6 metre wide spread. 30 mile per hour working speed. Does lime and fertiliser. Options. You can change the main colour to anything on here. Extensions, so we start off with 2,500 litre capacity and then you can add the extra boards on the top and that goes up to 4,500 litres and that is the options you've got Jump in So it's not a great wide spread but if you're on smaller farms and where it holds well 4500 if you go for that option that's going to go pretty far at that width spreading then next up we've got this Turn that off a minute. This is the Massa Mesa by Andreas Rocha. This is four slots. Again, this does lime and fertilizer. Looks like an ice cream there, doesn't it? I put lime in this just to see how far it's going to go or not go. Nice detailed few of the bolts and things like that going on. This you'll find also in fertilizer technology. At the end there, 5,500 to buy. So it's more expensive than the one we've just looked at. And it's smaller. Only one option to change the main color. Do anything on there. Six hundred litres capacity, fifty horsepower to pull it, but it's got a twelve metre spread and it runs at nine mile per hour. So obviously with lime that isn't gonna go very far at all. Which is why I wanted to put lime in there just to we don't have to unfold it. There we go, quite a nice spread. But that is going down quite quick. Still, ideal if you've got smaller farms again. Let's drop that off there. In fact, I'm going to go front on to this. This is the back manure fork you can still attach it to the front it doesn't matter even though it's called back manure fork and on pictures on the mod hub show it on the back of a tractor this is by zasty this is only one slot pretty standard manure fork this was under tools under miscellaneous i think yeah there it is 1500 to buy it's got a 1000 litre capacity but it will take chaff straw manure hay grass and silage oh i've done it again you can change the main color to anything on there and then you can change the design color which is the other part of the frame to anything on there you can't change the spikes they've got to stay red so just quickly hook up to that zoom in a bit it's 
so L1 and circle we can raise and lower the crocodile as it says and then we can go L1 right stick left and right adjust it manually the tilt and then right stick up and down we can go up and down R1 and right stick left or right opens and closes the jaws so if we open them up and lower down hopefully we should pick up our manure like so there we go moving on from there this is old shed small by mns mnns mnns mods yeah that's a bit weird mouthful this is 11 slots it is seasons ready it's very dark so i'm going to put my torch on nice little bike out there it's got like a very sort of well used look as we go around I like this effect here it's like sort of spray paint on the sides it's all dirty down the back there again spray paint there just going to be a place to store your machines or any bells like that equipment you have got a little bit of a sort of hayloft there but should imagine that would be quite tricky getting stuff up there a few little bits dotted around for decoration just can't pick any of it up that looks nasty there you go this one you'll find under placeables under sheds there it is there 10,000 to buy and there we go next up we have another shed this is wooden shed by Camille this is nine slots it doesn't say if it's seasons ready did I say that one over there is seasons ready this one doesn't say whether it's seasons ready again just a small shed to store your equipment nice detail with the ivy there coming through down the sides a few things again inside just as decorative objects I've, I have placed it and it's get, there's a bit of a lip there on that edge but I'm on flat map so it, you know you should be able to put things straight down on here so I don't know if I could have uh, adjusted the height and brought that a bit lower. I just sort of slapped it down. <laughs> so, I'd, But to me it looks like that is a feature because that's the floor isn't it? With everything in there. Anyway, this is again under placeables under sheds. It's at the end there, 2000 to buy. there you go there next up we have got this which is polish barn by sani 317 and daniel x321 this is 25 slots on console this is seasons ready again this this is very nicely detailed we'll have a quick whiz round This brickwork work here is nice, detailed, all worn away there. Scuffs on it everywhere. Again, it looks like it's a worn building over time. You can come in this door here. I don't 
uh, you probably have to get smaller, store smaller things in there. You've got a bit of a drive through thing here. I couldn't see any lights at all anywhere. There is sort of light switch, you know, options there, but nothing comes up when you go near it, and I couldn't see any lights at all anywhere. This door opens, you can come in here. There's a little bit of a delay to these doors, but there you go, a little bit of a garage area. You can go in this door here. This is very low, this ceiling here. Again, not sure what you're going to store in there. Now, earlier on when I was messing around, I opened that door and I can't shut it. Even if I jump, it won't let me do it. It just keeps opening that bottom one. But you can get up there. I, you can just jump up there. So you have got a little bit of storage area there, but this door's quite narrow. So if you bring any bells in, I think you're going to have to bring them in sort of long ways. Otherwise, it's a bit of a wasted space up there. Now I can't get out. There we go. These doors open here as well. Another sort of garage area. Again, that's quite low there, but nicely detailed. This is under placeables. Was this under sheds as well? Yes, it was. There it is barn. Eighty thousand to buy. I said it was seasons ready, didn't I? And Twenty-five slots. There you go. Next up, we have got this. This is the Alpine Hayloft by Mikhail S. This is 20 slots and seasons ready. This will fit right in with the um, Erlengrat map. You can go in these doors. I think there's a bit of a delay on these ones as well. So let's open all of them. You've got to drive through on both sides. You've got a little bit of a hay loft here. There's already hay up here. And a little bit, tiny little bit of room over there as well. I don't think this door here opens. No, you can't go in there. If we come over to here and press circle, fold blower, and come outside, that opens those doors and then puts the pipe out there. Now I've just realised I haven't got any straw or hay ready so I'm going to cut to that and get back to you in a second. Right, so if we come into our hazard area we can do R1 and triangle to unload. So we're putting straw into our hayloft And then to get it out, you've got to come round. You've got the other markers there on the floor. There isn't actually any pipe inside. But if you come forward, we'll get the start field trigger there, L3. We want our straw out. It just loads up like that. pretty cool that one you'll find under placeables I think that was under silos so that we've got the in-game one which is there that also holds 250,000 so does this one 
75,000 to buy. Did I say whether it was, yeah, is seasons ready and 20 slots? There you go, where are we going next? We're going over to this. Which is the Cider Randon by Talon and Agro Mods. This is four slots. Nice looking trailer, and it's a side curtain trailer, which means you're going to have all this room to load up with pallets. Let's have a quick look at it in store first. This is under tools. Or is it under trailers? Yeah, there we go. Side of random, 55,000 to buy. <clears throat> A couple of options. We can just change the main colour to any of these. you got sort of metallic -y sort of options. Like that. All the ones up the top, you've got four options there, and then it just goes down into sort of base game colours. So you can mix and match as you wish. Rim colour, anything on there. Like so. So let's hook up to it. All the lights work, indicators. So if we now do L1 and X, I'll zoom in a bit actually, we can blow a lift axle, which is that middle sort of wheel there, and then we can lift it back up. Open cover, opens both sides, like I say, plenty of room there. R1 and R3, tension straps across the whole length of the trailer. So, we'll just quickly chuck pallets on there. I think you can put pretty much anything on there. heavy for this little thing just for experimental purposes let's get this bow on there as well just to show that you can put a few things on there So you can do the straps manually, like so, or we can go and cab again and do R1 and R3, there we go, all strapped down and safe. Up next we've got this, this is the Lizard MK Silo by DS, DS Agroservice. Castor, Fluey, Stephen Alias, W7K. This is 15 slots. Nicely detailed. With all the pipes running around. Got a few options as well in store. Which we'll look at now. This was under tools, I'm pretty sure this was under low loaders. 
No, that was that one. Ah, miscellaneous. I got myself confused with one of the other mods we'll come to in a minute. There you go, 90,000 to buy. It doesn't hold any liquids, it would just hold the stuff down the bottom. So we've got wheat, barley, oat, canola, sunflower, soybeans, corn, seeds, TMR, chaff, wood chips, silage, lime and solid fertiliser. So if we go in store, it starts off as a 30,000 litre capacity, uh, capacity, but we can change that up. Main colour you can change to anything on there. What I did find is pretty much every colour gives you a sort of metallic finish. Even the base game colours. Rim colour. Anything on there. That's sort of like the Joker colours there, isn't it? Design colour. Those sort of your fenders and a few little bits and bobs. Like sort of plate on top. Tiny little bit of the... um. Oh, what do you call it? Yeah, that th thing you walk across at the top. I can't think. You'll see it in a minute because it's one of the options. So, Will Brand, you can have Lizard or Trelleborg. You can't change the wheel setup, that's how it is. If you have Trelleborgs, it's going to cost you an extra 2850 Design, we've got None, Tread Plate, that's what I was trying to think. So, if you go on Tread Plate, it slightly changes the design of it. Then we can have license plate, rivets, which I went up around the whole thing. I couldn't see anything that changed. Unless I'm missing something. But I couldn't see it. Then you can have tread plate and license plate. Tread plate and rivets. License plate and rivets or all additionals so that'll give you everything and then like I say let's move around so you can see the capacity starts off standard 30,000 litres extension middle doesn't actually change anything on the unit but that goes up to 40,000 extension big goes up to 50,000 and then back to standard so let's hook up I'll just quickly drive over here to show you, you can fill it up. So we drive in, we've got our start filling trigger. We can put anything of that in there. Silage for instance. Stop filling. And then there is no unload function so if normally if you press L1 and R1 you can unload sort of like fertilizer into the pallets or anything like there's nothing like that but if you pull up to any sort of trigger if it will let you you can unload like that there you go next up we've got this this is the triple axle toy hauler by Lance this is nine slots It's nicely detailed. Time to go camping. Can you go up the ladder? Oh yeah. This you will find, we found it earlier, under tools, under low loaders. There it is, 12,000 to buy. Quite a few options on this. You can change the main color anything on there you can change the rim color to anything on there and then we 
can change the design color to anything on there now if you change the design color to anything from the standard you lose the sort of checker plate that goes around it so uh, sorry we'll set up I didn't realize I was on that so we start off with stock wheels then you can go to upgraded wheels if you are on upgraded wheels then you would lose obviously the rim color because they're just sort of like an alloy finish back to stock wheels there you go so if we hook up to it it does do a few different things so if we zoom out if we do L1 and X unfold trailer that puts the steps out on the side there and opens that door if we do L1 and left d-pad open cover that pushes out your side extension and then if we do L1 and right stick left or right lift front loader tool but that drops the back and you can sort of adjust it how you want so depending on your terrain so if I go right down that's going to push the back up because there you go I'll just jump out of there and we'll go and have a look inside quite spacious I mean the pictures on the mod hub they've got the John Deere Gator and the Mahindra I think in there but I was actually curious to know what you can fit in there so does our truck fit in there why you'd want to put it in there but you could do it does indeed there you go cool bit of kit you can use it to transport things around basically next up and I think this is the last one this is broom basically it's a broom this is by Mac, this is two slots. It says that it is used for cleaning maps, animal feeders, and any crops from the ground. If you use it on anything, you're gonna lose it. So if you do use it on um, animal um, feeders, so like normally you can tip back in the, the wheat or the barley for the chickens, if you use this, you won't put it back in it will just go that's why I left the wood chips on the ground from earlier because hopefully it's going to get rid of all of them like so it does say that it can be strapped down as well to transport it but you can't lay it down it just wants to stand upright all the time so it's going to be a little bit fiddly getting a strap across that I would have thought and that you will find under tools under miscellaneous there it was cleaning broom five pounds or euros dollars whatever you're on and that is the last of the mods for today i think hope you've enjoyed the video um if you have please give us a like don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I've been Farm Sim Snowy. Stay frosty.